Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hey there. Welcome, Zagi. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. How's it going yourself? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired, and today was full of drama at work, and I'm um, honestly looking forward to going and exploring a virtual hellscape instead. Oof. Amen. I hear ya. <laughs> hey, Sol. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Sol. <laughs> I have had a lot more um, voluntary chaos today, but the good news is I managed to actually make some decent changes. Uh, Ooh. I played with a lot of stuff that should help make the stream nicer in future, but we will see when I decide to debut it. Some of Ooh. which I might hold out for uh, the big like anniversary, but some of it I definitely am trying out today just because I want to see how it works in action. Ooh, ooh, what's different? What's different? Let me look around. Uh, <laughs> what do you see? Anything? Uh, no, I see red and fog. Okay, that. That's pretty normal. <laughs> You'll probably see more of it once we get into live, but... One of the things I do want to check, though, I have tried adding an experimental sound effect redeem. Just because I want to see how annoying it is. Oh, good. So if someone could do okay. me a favor and do... Exclamation mark... What is it? I think it's redeem. And then just the word hi. Like, H-I. And we'll see if we get blasted. Okay, okay. It worked, and I heard absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. Well, same here, to be honest. <laughs> Fuck. Anyone hear any? Anyone hear anything on the stream? Now, see, that's what I expected was going to happen because that's what it was doing earlier too. After I added it, what it should be doing is playing a sound effect. Interesting. Hmm. Clearly, items in the loyalty store do not work the way I think they do. Hmm. Okay, well, um, that's yep. broken, and I will keep working on it for the future. Thanks for the help testing, Soul. Yes. Always nice to have crap I've been working on all day fail. I love it. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. We'll that's see if the other person. thing works. Mm -hmm. We won't see it until I go live, and I'm not live yet. Ah. I mean, I'm live, but the game's not live. It's complicated. I mean, I'm glad you're not dead. Surprise. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this really is Silent Hill. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Shall we get on to business? Yeah, sure. Let's a slightly do slightly late this. start, so. Yeah. Just slightly. There we go. There's the new hotness. Such Ooh. as it is. Wow. I may need to resize it or like make the font bigger or any of that stuff, but I was just curious because it's really hard to tell from the preview sometimes how big things are. Mm -hmm. It's not just a one to one thing. I can't look at it and be just like, oh, well, of course it's that size. Yeah, it's always tricky like that. It's all relative. Is it supposed to be a... Uh... Like a life bar? I see a little heart at the end. Yep, I have my choice of icons I can put there. They're, they gave me uh, individual icons for different things, because that doesn't have to be a follower bar. It can also be a sub bar oh. or a bits bar or stuff like that. So Cool. I like it. Yeah. I apologize. I do not have proper credits for these yet, but um, there's also a chat version of that, too. So hopefully I'll have both of those working at the same time, and then I will definitely get proper credits up. Ooh. Looking forward to seeing that. Yes, it looks really cool. I have it working. I just wasn't ready to, like, get it fully functioning for tonight. So, yeah, you you worked a lot of stuff on this stream today, just all across the board. So not uh, understandable, not trying to make that also happen in time for the live stream tonight. Baby steps. It's not necessarily like super difficult work. It's just tedious work. Mm hmm. I get that. Especially and if you're very, kind of uh, anal about the whole thing, which I absolutely am. Make of that what you will. <laughs> it's <laughs> quite. And just, I mean, fucking computers, right? It's, they're, nothing works together. Stuff breaks constantly for strange reasons, and you have to spend an hour trying to find the, like, magic incantation to make it work. That. And that's if you're good with computers. 
Mm-hmm. I'm generally fine at using a computer, though um, current evidence would seem to suggest that is not the case, so sh- uh, Being good at using a computer just means you know how frustrating and bad it can get. Yes. Hardware, mm. I'm useless without Soggy, so... <laughs> you flatter me. Oh. All right, James, let's get moving. All right. I have control. Let's do this thing. What if I just take oh, this back? Hey. <laughs> hey. Two of us can play this game, you know. <laughs> Literally. Two of us can play this game. Fine, fine. I'll leave you the kind of cursor. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, okay, perfect. Good. We need that clipped for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy. I will be highlighting that along with everything else and every single time I fail on anything from here on out. <laughs> okay. Uh... Of course there's no hope. <laughs> there really isn't. Uh, this is Silent Hill. There's never any hope. Yeah, or computers. There's also no hope. <laughs> nope. Uh, all right, so one thing I do love about Silent Hill that I want to point out, because I think this is the first time we've... No, it's not, but whatever. Since the game is constantly... Uh... Yeah, really. Tell me about it. Never. Uh... Never, never. Since the game is constantly updating our map as we explore things, and like we're constantly marking, you know, where we've been, what we've seen, the uh, it's really easy when you uh, pick up a new, you know, when you pick back up the game after having not played for a while to figure out what, where you need to go and what you need to do, because the game has kept track of it all for you, which is really neat. Just the idea that like you're slowly learning what's available and what's not available and it you know you're just constantly updating this map live it's it's very clever exactly it really adds to the world building for sure yep plus you get to see james's drawing skills which are only slightly that worse than mine no better <clears throat> than mine all right um i don't remember i think we we're on the third floor before. That sounds right. We got a door we hadn't checked yet. Okay, let's see if this thing works. There we go. Whoa. I made a command for that just so I don't have to keep saying it all the time. Cool. I could have automated it, but... Whatever, I'll just put it up on occasion. Hey, welcome to the stream, Felix. As you say, we're gonna be part of this town soon. Oh boy, <laughs> are we gonna be part of this town soon. I think we already are. Uh, I mean, we're, let's face it, we're playing this on stream because we became a part of this town, you know, ages ago when we first played this. Absolutely. As, you, uh, as we got into at length on last week's stream. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay, uh, Welcome back to uh, Silent Hill. First nurse of the night. Oh, wait. I guess I could just. I keep forgetting that kick is a thing. I swear it wasn't doing that before. Hmm. Okay. It's just because we were too scared before. Maybe. Come on. No, you're just gonna run in circles? Wait. Yeah, what's uh, going on? You're just ignoring me. Uh. You're freaking out. What the hell? Maybe we are part of this world now. It doesn't seem as a threat. Oh, hang on. Now the coming at me. Nice. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. For those of you who have forgotten, we're in the, like, 
alternate hospital, also known as the other world hospital, to the fans mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, Maria's gone missing. That's right, Maria is missing now. And a lot of the geography and the architecture does not match what we expect. Oh. Euclid has left the building. The stairwell is actually still working. Oh. oh shit, they're back. And they're back. That's Damn. fast. Yeah, really. Come on, you. Okay. Um I wonder if the kick is less like permanent or something. Maybe. No. It's broken. It puts them down quicker, but if you leave and come back, it doesn't last or something. Maybe. I do not know for sure, so. I didn't even remember there was a kick until last week, so I don't have to lie about this. This is legitimate. It's been like what? Ten, maybe twenty years? <laughs> this game came oh, out man. in two thousand and one originally. I don't think we played it, like, right away. It took us a year or two to get to. Oh, more than a year or two, because we were living, uh... We moved up here by then, as okay. I recall. Um... Because we played on the Xbox 360 in backwards compatibility mode for the Xbox release, so it would have right. had to have been... 2007, at least, I think? It's a little late. As usual. Yeah. <laughs> we just heard so much about how good it was, and why were people right? By the way, before I walk through the store and maybe get attacked again, props once more to the awesome work of the uh, Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition team in making this PC port so good. Yep, Back there we go again. again. Interesting, but this one stayed dead. Hmm. The elevator's st this elevator's still dead. Yeah, yep, dead end. That's a dead end. I have a feeling we're Hopefully about to have to fight. Not uh... Jeez, James. The physical violence against a lady, come on. I mean, a lot of this game is physical violence against a lady, as much as I hate to admit it. There's been so many, um... Uh... Anyway, um, I'm slightly worried about what's coming next. It just gave us a bunch of extra bullets and health and stuff, <laughs> and then now there's a save file. That's never a good sign. Nope. Well, I hope you saved. Uh, I am now. Turns out if we'd gone through one more door last time, we would have found a new save point instead of having to backtrack. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes, that is soggy. Hi! Yeah, this is me. This is my wonderful uh, hand-drawn VTuber. <laughs> he worked super hard on it. AKA, I forget who came up with <laughs> <laughs> It's just a ghost, don't worry about it. Someone called it a sleep paralysis demon at one point. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty accurate, honestly. <laughs> Oh, they're going back out on the roof. <laughs> Do you really want to go back out on the roof? That was some heavy well, shit. Given what happened the last time I was out there? No. No, I do not. Uh, I'm sure Pyramid Head would be happy to dump you on your ass again. I'm sure he would, and that's why I don't want to go there. Oh. So we're locked out of this section of the second floor entirely. Interesting. Locker room time? Uh, locker room? Uh, nope, we can't get to the locker rooms. Huh. Uh-oh. Okay. We're going all the way down, aren't we? The... What the fuck what? Was, what was that? that? Going down to the basement, finally. All right, Is that a baby or a here. kitten, or... I probably don't want to know. That's probably the right answer. So where are we? Wait a minute. 
Okay, so the main door is locked off. There's bullets, okay. bloody handprints. Normal. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move this shelf. What do you think? Ah, dehydrate. Er, hydrate. No, not dehydrate. Hydrate. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that command. <laughs> I need to hydrate because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That should help. I guess we're gonna move the bloody handprint shelf because that's all we can do. Okay. Don't you think they probably... Okay. I was kind of assuming they got that way because someone touched it before, but... Yeah... Somehow Same. you have survived intact. <clears throat> James's greatest skill, putting his hands in places they don't belong James. and surviving. Huh? Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there! Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours! I've never been so scared in my whole life! You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me! Don't ever leave me alone! You're supposed to take care of me! <laughs> So, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protector <laughs> thanks for that by the way I almost had to mute to prevent myself from laughing in the middle of a cutscene <laughs> it would be paralysis good <clears throat> okay so Maria's back and she's as um, bizarrely clingy as ever yeah more so I'd say that I mean, was like, okay you have a point but also seriously lady what the hell so we just met like an hour or two ago. Exactly. Like, that's that's a lot for like we just met and there was some light flirting and also then she was kind of a dick for a bit. And like you're supposed to take care of me. Like I was supposed to stay in the hospital room and like pat your head while you cough. Like someone's got to do something here. Wasn't she the one that told us to go on and look for Laura? I thought so. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Something I mean, is very even... not reasonable here. Yeah. No one in this game... <laughs> Everyone in this game is just... a little bit maladjusted. Welcome to Silent Hill. Except maybe Laura's, Laura seems mostly okay, except for the whole, you know, running around a town full of monsters like there's nothing wrong thing. I mean, she's kind of a brat, but... Again, she had a point when yeah. she, you know, locked James in that horrifying place from last yeah. time. She's unnecessarily mean, but... My dude, all you had to do was not yell the way you promised, but no. Or, like, ask nicely instead of calling her... What was it he called her again? Uh, something about a brat, I think. Yeah. Okay. okay. Random blood on the floor. That's normal. The random blood has something glowing in the middle of it. Okay. I got the copper ring. The copper ring? Uh, yes. Like the one ring? I don't have a map of this area. You don't? Oh uh, well, we just went down below the basement, so... Ah, uh, got it. 
It's engraved with a picture of a spider. Okay. We just went down a stairwell that shouldn't exist to this weird room beneath okay. the basement that had a copper ring in it. And now we're... Now Maria's back to jump scaring us every time we enter a new room. Yep. That too. Okay, that's definitely a baby. Uh... Or a pig. Uh... No, that's a baby. Let's hope it's not Laura. She's too old to be making that kind of sound. True. Unless something very bad has happened. What do we do with the copper ring? I mean, we don't need anything right now. There's no puzzle other than how the hell we ended up in this alternate version of things. Well, there's two things. There's two things. There's um, there's the refrigerator we weren't strong enough oh, to open. That's right. Oh, oh, we have help now. Yeah, maybe now that we have Maria. Maybe Maria can help us open the fridge. And then there's that weird door with the hands. Hey, Joe! Hey, welcome. Nice to see you. Yeah, there we go. The hand door. There's a I'm note around that painting. Somewhere. There's a note around here somewhere about like some guy talking about that door. Hmm. What? Excuse me. Here you either answer the question correctly and a great prize, or fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It all depends on you. And our lucky, or should I say unlucky challenger today is James. James Sunderland! Are you ready to play trick or treat? Hell yeah, let's go! Here's your first question. What? Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park that both children and adults love. The question is, what is the name of this amusement park? Disneyland. Fantasyland. Two, Silent Hill Amusement Park. Three, Lakeside Amusement Park. Okay, quickly, on to question number two. Hey, how do I answer this one? Witness a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. Corn smashed bones, splattered blood, and finally, bitter tears. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One, Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gay. Now for our third what? and final question. Wait. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. Wait, deserted? Compared to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? Oh, crap. Road? I don't know this one uh... off the top of my head. Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody. Um... Thanks for tuning in. See you again. What? <laughs> what was that? 
Maria, that's the most sensible thing you've said all game. Wow, okay, that was that was certainly a trip. What the okay, it is gonna, fuck? It is gonna let us look at the map. That's good to okay, know. It was Nathan. It was that's Nathan what I thought. Nathan 3? Was that episode 3? Yes, I think. Okay. So then it's 3, 1, and then 3. I remember okay. the first two. Chat, help us remember this. 3, 1, 3. 3, 1, 3. Story room on the third. What the hell? I've got to know who voice acted that. That was probably somebody's yes. like first voice acting job. That uh, that might actually be the best voice acting in this game. <laughs> I mean, it's exactly what it was designed to be, which is completely, you know, game show appropriate and completely fucked up. Exactly. It's meant to be ridiculously cheesy, and it just leans into it. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Try. <clears throat> What's this? Not very cute, is it? You, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. I got the lead okay. ring. Okay. Sure enough, we got the fridge open with Maria's help. I'll go with your copper ring. Very yeah! Classy. There's nothing in the refrigerator anymore. A hideous smell is coming from <sighs> inside. I did not need that detail, thanks. Yep, it's a refrigerator, alright. Oh dear. Ring from the refrigerator. It's a grave with a disgusting, bloated face. Maybe you should stop insulting people, James. It's very judgy. What, no more baby sounds? Nah, the baby's in the basement, clearly. Alright, back to the third floor. I'm honestly amazed that elevator didn't just, like, drop you to the bottom or something. Yes, I was waiting for that. This game isn't really big on the, like, direct, you know, loud jump scares like that. Yeah. Much more about, like, slow impending dread. I believe, wasn't Silent Hill 1 once described as the uh, horror game with exactly one jump scare? Mm-hmm. And everybody remembers the one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Especially badly behaved babies. Oh, my. There we go. They, I can see the lay of the door. They cannot walk under a bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Okay. Like bloated, ugly corpses. Their sins. She devours them. Sin and sinner alike. She saves me. She is an angel. Okay. Okay. So we only have two. I feel like this is a puzzle that's kind of asking for more. Mm. That could be crazy, though. Okay, well, let's go to the storeroom and put in our puzzle code, and then I'm not sure where else we can look at the thing. Two, three, four, right? I uh, got this. Uh. She's not really coughing now. No. She seems perfectly fine. Yeah. Nope, for some reason the nurse is permanently dead now. Weird. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea what the rules are. That's probably the idea. Whoa. There's a giant ornate chest that wasn't here before. Okay. Whoa. Looks like something out of 999. It does. So what was that code again? 243. Uh, pretty sure that that's not an answer. <laughs> Uh, uh, 313, according to Ocho. Thank you. If it's wrong, it's obviously his fault. <laughs> Probably. 
Perfect. Sweet! You got it! Well done. I got some shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. More shotgun what? shells. More shotgun shells. An ampule. Oh, and another ampule. Wow. That That's was the kind of thing I'd expect to find, like, vampire hunter equipment in. Yeah! Yeah, it really looks like it belongs in a Castlevania, doesn't it? Absolutely. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm, we've been everywhere we can get right now. Like... We can't really go anywhere on the... Wait. Huh? It's a lot of maps. Yeah. There we go. This is the... It's convenient we had two copies of this map so we could draw on one of them and then when we got to an alternate universe version of the same map, we had another one to draw on. Funny how that works. So we can't get over here. We can't get over here. We can't get over there. We've done dealt with the fridge. We've okay. conveniently marked that we dealt with the fridge. Okay. I feel like there's nothing left but that lady with the hands. Yeah. Maybe we do only need two rings. Well, let's try and put the hand door rings on. I do wonder what it was going to do if we failed that puzzle, though. Yeah, that's a good question. Is it just like instant kill or does it like reduce uh, resources or something? Good question. We should I'm going to try looking up real quick. Okay. Maybe it's in the ring. walkthrough. I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Okay. Oops. Uh, as much as I love the enhanced edition, there's a slight bug there. The ring is not actually on the hand. <laughs> I put the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Uh, ah! Okay. Yes, it's all there is too. We just need to get both rings. I somehow expected a lot worse. Maybe you have to be on hard or worse. Maybe, yeah. You have to expect you have to like figure out which finger they went on or something. Yeah, exactly. Even the last puzzle we had to solve. All right. I'll wait to go through this until we uh, until you get your answer. Oh, go ahead. Don't wait up on me. Right. This is a long walkthrough. Hey, I have a question. What's the point of this door? This stairwell just goes to places we already know we can't access. Hmm. Shortcut for when something inevitably hits the fan. But every other door is already shut. Huh? There's a yeah. note on the ground. The handwriting is hard to read. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Okay. Oh, good. It's a note from our buddy with the, like, obsession with his daughter. Mm-hmm. Based on the spelling. So he hid it behind the praying woman when he went out for a day trip. Okay. Did we already find that, or...? No. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't have any museum key. Damn it, Maria. <laughs> Lingering back there in the shadows. Mm-hmm. We're solving some of these in a slightly different order than the walkthrough assumed, so I'm also having to, like, scroll around for that. Uh... This stairwell keeps going down. Oh, that's good. The stairwell's not supposed to keep going down. There's no basement below this part of the building. Do you want to argue about it? Uh, the stairwell's going very down. Very, very down. Uh, that's not ominous. Okay, here we go. I found the answer. 
Okay. If you answer incorrectly, spray will come down from the roof to inflict damage, and the box will become permanently locked. What the? Ah, it's pyramid head. Shit. Shit, get back here. Who cares about spray? Oh shit, I can shoot her. Oh. Oh no. Uh, uh, right. Oh, shit. Crap. <laughs> uh, uh. Soggy, how could you? Shit. More violence to women in this stream, clearly. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh. Wow. I guess that answers our question from last time about whether we can. Oh wow, this is sent... this is quite a ways back too. Uh, oh, we haven't um... saved in a while. Can yeah. Get to the puzzle again too. Okay. Uh. Did I ask last time if you could um? I told you, you to there test was it. friendly fire. Huh. In a controlled environment. You did. You did. That's on... <laughs> that's on me. I mean, Maria's creepy as hell, but... Where the fuck did that guy even come from? There was... We, we were alone in that hallway. Or so you thought. That's fine, we just took the scenic tour the first time. Uh, yeah. Now we get to speedrun it. There's that sound again. Is, yep. So I'm sorry, I was busy losing my shit. What did you say happens if we get the question wrong? <laughs> yeah, that was extremely poorly timed, in hindsight. Uh, apparently it sends some spray down from the roof to damage you severely and also locks the box forever. Oh shit. Wow. So you better really know your answers, or else it's not even worth the time. Uh-huh. To be fair, basically all of those can be answered if you just take the time to look at the map, so... Mm, yeah. It's not like you had to come in here knowing the answers already. Yeah, true. I don't know if I can skip cutscenes in this game, but if I can, does anyone uh, mind if I skip Maria yelling at us since we saw it just a minute ago? I'm fine with it. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. Ah, there we go. Nice. Back apparently does it. Ordinarily I would never, but we did just watch it. Okay, we got a copper ring. It has a spider on it. I wonder what this puzzle is on hard. Yeah. Damn it. That's not what I want to hear through my earphones. Alright, and back out on this floor. Nope, nothing. Okay, then we need to go take the elevator down to two. Normally I don't want to run in this game, but since I know we're just going to be standing in the elevator in a minute anyway. Mm -hmm. There we go again. There we go again. See if we can find out who this is. Okay, here's your first question. Merry-go-round, haunted, haunted house, house, roller coaster, coaster Ferris, Ferris wheel, wheel, and teacups. teacups. Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park that both children and adults love. The question is, what is the name of this amusement park? One, Fantasyland. Two, Silent Hill Amusement. 
amusement park. Oh my god, I actually Great found him. Lakeside oh wow. Park. Oh, no way. Quickly, on to question number two. Helen Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and oh, sister sorry. were they. playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. No way. But that wasn't the case last Leonard time we played this game. It's likely not. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One, Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gay. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Four, Nathan's Hot Dogs. Well, that's the last of our questions. <laughs> Have you got it all figured out? I want a sponsorship deal. If you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But I know, yeah. I think a sponsorship deal wrong. from a hot dog company. <laughs> well then, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. See you again sometime. What was that? Alright, so tell us about the voice actor who voiced that uh, ridiculousness. Yes, their name is Dominic Allen. Born in Tokyo. Really? Has not, has not had very many uh, high profile roles. It seems to all be bit roles. Huh. Probably the most recognizable role they've been is Max Brass in Arms. Oh, that's an odd career. Yeah. Would not have seen that coming. Also, Brad Burns from Virtua Fighter. Really? Interesting. And similar to this, uh, they had a role in Fatal Frame. Oh, really? Yeah. And I really want to play those games sometime. Same. Something else for the stream someday. Oh, there's a thought. Yeah, so I'm going back and getting it. It's too good of a reward to pass up. So I can unlock it from that side, but I can't take stuff out of it from that side. Odd. Naturally, this deluxe luxury velvet locked case is full of shotgun shells and uh, questionable medicine. Can't like protect that shit. Especially in a world like this. Yes, that should help tremendously. Now we can shoot Maria with a bandit. Wait, no, no. Well, there's a testament to how strong these monsters are. She, um, I mean, we took her out in one shot by accident, so... Admittedly, it was kind of a point-blank shot to the heart. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Maria also runs out of breath. Legit not sure which is worse, that or Pyramid Head's knife. <laughs> Probably the knife. There we go. It's stretched correctly this time. Huh. The hands are correctly have the rings on them. I wonder what makes it break. Oh no. Hit it behind the praying room and went out for the day trip. I guess since he went out, that's something we'll have to look for after we get out of this place. That makes sense. The doctors and stuff did make some allusion to the fact that they're allowed to leave every once in a while, so. Here 
Here we go again. Oh boy. See, there's nothing here. Nope. And then when I turn the corner. Holy shit. Yep. Maria, Maria, come on. I need you to hurry. Uh. Okay, shit. Come on. Come on. Nope. Uh -oh. oh shit. Come on. Why is it getting red? Uh, good question. Ow. Oh god, it's he's running, we're running. This is bad. Okay, there's a door. Okay, so did that have to happen, or...? I don't know. It didn't give me a game over. I thought it was, that was just like a game over cutscene. Yeah, that seemed pretty scripted. Yeah. I don't think she died, like, before you got in there, but... Who knows if you could have, like, pushed her in there uh, in front of you or something. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you were supposed to protect her, according to her. Uh, yeah? She did kind of shit. make that up in her own head. Also true. But still, shit. Uh... Honestly, I was expecting us to just get to an area where I could, like, maneuver around so that it wasn't, you know... That hallway is so narrow. They're, they're, what I, I wasn't sure how to do anything about Pyramid Head without shooting her. I mean, here's the thing: we killed her before, and it was an instant game over. Yeah. I feel like if she had taken enough damage to die, it would have been a game over. You mean from Pyramid Head? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I get that. I mean, that definitely was like. We got to the elevator first. Yeah. Or something. You're right, maybe maybe it's just scripted, or maybe it's... Uh, well, this is the road we've chosen, such as it is. Or at least the road we're on. Did we choose anything? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure at all. I'm sure, but I'm not telling. Hmm. What? Please tell me it's gonna tell me what this says. He yeah, okay. who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. Ooh, I like that variance. That's good. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. What? It's also a hospital key? Yeah. So there's an... 
a dot back for near where we began the game, and there's a circle on Rosewater Park. That again? Again. Different part of Rosewater Park, though. Oh my gosh, it's actually Gonzalez's Mexican restaurant from the... Remember? <laughs> <laughs> that we were fucking around with at the beginning and swore <laughs> we were gonna have to get to? Perfect, Taco Tuesday, let's go. Oh, and Silent Hill Historical Society is now underlined. I copied them onto my map, and I got the hospital lobby key. Great. Huh? Hey! Wait, was that Laura outside? Shit. Wait, is that outside? It's freaking it's like pitch black out there. <laughs> Why not? I feel like learning about the town and the region might be important at this point, James. I mean only if the, you know, horns don't show up outside. Or pyramid head. True. Oh, we're back to the sad piano music. Damn it, where did he come from? Exactly the worst possible place he could have. Yeah. Almost like he was designed to do that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, duh. But <laughs> narratively. <clears throat> oh, what the heck? Why is there like a trough and a brick and a concrete wall instead of the door that should be here? That's weird. I don't even like Maria that much, but like. Here, just in case, I'm using another save file. Alright. It's a horrible way to go for anybody. Yeah. I use the hospital lobby key. sounding so good. I mean, reasonable. Yeah. That's not a good question. Huh? Taking what? Wait. Huh? Uh, James? Um, James is not doing well, and he already wasn't doing well at the beginning of the game. Oh boy. Oh also, shit. Also, we're outside now, and we're probably still in the other world on top of it. Yeah, sure looks like it. It's like dark instead of foggy okay, now. Yeah. Uh, eh, Carol Street. How apropos. Carol Street? Oh. Yeah. Down the rabbit hole, James. Uh-oh. Something's coming. Uh... And it stopped. Okay. Is this still locked? Oh no, it's a nurse. Two Out nurses? Here? Yep. Does she have more room to fight him out here? Yeah. I prefer to just avoid him if I can. I've only got so many resources. Yeah, like 20 billion shotgun shells? Uh, I mean, fair. Let's see. How do we stand? We have 57 of those and 63 of those. Okay, <laughs> fine. It's fine, Let's fine. Maybe go. just 63. I guess it's nurse season. Oh. 
Man, this is a slow weapon, though. Wow. You just got out here and they already threw three. That's that's yep. a lot, all of a sudden. Yup. Coming. Yep, you're coming. Okay. Cool. Just... Cool. Oh, there's health over here. I was still waiting for a roach right there. Yup. Same. He never lived down that first one at the beginning of the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. You know, there's a specific bug fix in the Enhanced Edition just to fix a bug with those uh, roach under the car. <laughs> it's just so memorable. Mm hmm. It's very important to setting the mood that that worked correctly. Okay. Anything you walk by could potentially be housing a disaster. Okay. Mm-hmm. Roaches always are. Why do I keep hearing... Okay, there it is. <laughs> Do the mannequins just stop existing? Seems like the entire world is nothing but nurses now. And the roaches, for that matter. Or the... Or no, whatever you call those. Yeah, the roaches, the, the like armless ones. Or the vomity ones. Yeah, the vomity ones. I know they have names, but I can't remember. I mean, they never tell you in the game. Right. So. You only know it if you get into the like extra like side books and stuff. Yeah. I think there's an art book somewhere, but. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I just remember, wasn't there somewhere, in, in addition to all the stuff that we just found, mm -hmm. wasn't there somewhere that there was a, like, the, something that said that it was the door that only opens in darkness? Oh, yeah. It sounded like it was referring to some of those, like, scaffoldings with the cloth over it. Yeah. Right. That was the one with the, like, bloody message scrawled next to it, right? Yes, though that was what it said. We called it that one, that specific one, the door that only opens in darkness or something. It certainly seems like a good time for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just very uncomfortable with the degree of, like, wanton violence going on here. I mean, I realize that, Jeez. you know, life under threat, etc., but... I okay. mean, that's the thing about this game. You absolutely can run. You don't have to fight anything other than occasionally Pyramid Head. Even then, you're not fighting him so much as you are trying to survive. We had to fight the, the, the one that really creeped you out. Yeah. Sure that one's mandatory. I mean, you're locked in there. Yeah, we're literally locked in a room with that one. Thanks for that, James. Why did I name my Secret World character after this asshole again? Because you like the game? Fair. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to like James or the way that he treats children. No. This is not a man we should be emulating. Oh my gosh, there's so many nurses. Can I just split the difference between these two? 
can't run forever in this game is the thing. Mm-hmm. You can't fight forever and you can't run forever. Sounds to me like you gotta split the difference. Uh-huh. Run from what you can, kill what you can't. Yeah. Well, some people would probably argue the opposite. Kill what you can, run from what you can't. Hey, some of us have to be pragmatists. Okay. Here we go. Is this the door that only opens in darkness, or is that something else? Oh. Hey, this tunnel's open. Isn't this... Soul Street. Did we come down here before? I do not remember. It's kind of dark. It's a dead end. Nope. What is that? What? I don't know. Huh. Yeah. We can go through Wait. this now. Okay. I, assumed, I honestly assumed we were on off the beaten path and we needed to go back to the strip club. Jeez, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh shoot! Uh, what is that? It's a thing hanging on to the bottom by like weird yonic mouths. Oh jeez! Uh, it's like trying to tongue my uh, feet. <laughs> now that's a creature that definitely did not show up as clearly back when this game was like 640p. No. No. Oh, there's more of them. Uh. I don't even think I can shoot that. It's like through the floor. Uh huh. You have no choice but to run from that one. Okay. Is this like the inversion of that boss we fought? It kind of feels like it, yeah. Now it's unlocked. What is with this camera angle? I don't know. I'm gonna go save. Hey, there's more uh, health pack regenerated. I mean, I guess this is normal. Wait. Let's look at something over here. What is this? Oh, more shotgun shells. Okay. Maybe I do need to be um, less conservative with my weapons. I mean, I don't know what it's going to give you later. You might need yeah. all those. This is the thing. I remember this game being... Ah, uh, yes, the Bar Neely's note from before. Say 23. I'm sure it's Rose. watching. Oh, gosh. If it's analyzing the number of, like, saves that I've done, then I... I we're doomed. I legit do not remember if that's one of the things that's watching. Probably, but I could be wrong. Okay. Quiet. Oh, wait. There you go. You asked for a uh, mannequin. Okay, yep. There we go. Right in here. The nurses must have just gotten out of the hospital, you know. But maybe they were on break. They couldn't. Obviously, they couldn't get through the. What uh, was that? was probably more mannequins, since they don't make normal radio noises. Man, there's a lot of like ammo and stuff out here. That really sounded like the Project Zomboid, you know. Oh shit, I just broke into a house with zombies or something sound. Uh-huh. Oh, actually, they are making radio noises now. Also, once you get on top of them. Uh, yes. That was the case before. You can totally round a corner and not hear them coming. Yeah, they're mannequins, so as long as they're standing still. Uh, there's that thing again. Is that... The shrieky thing from the beginning of the game that never actually came down and attacked us? Maybe. Okay, where are we going? Um. Oh, there's the door that only opens in darkness up there, I think, by Blue Creek Apartments. Oh, okay, <laughs> hey, we're. Mm -hmm. yeah, you should have marked that on the map. The door that only opens in darkness. 
<laughs> yeah, we take it past the map writing that. No, wait, this is a dead end, I think. Is this still a dead end? This is still a dead end. Okay. So we need to go, um... Okay, we need to... Mexican restaurant. We need to go to the Mexican restaurant, right? Yep. Rifle shells? We don't even have a rifle. I hear I was expecting taco shells. Uh. This one's coming. Something. Oh, it's a nurse. I guess they found this side of town after all. Damn. Combat is going way quicker now that we know about the whole stomp on the enemy thing. Mm-hmm. Do you stop doing that? It's fun. Or rifle shells. Where's this rifle? Again, it reminds me of that thing that would fly around and was such a pain in Silent Hill 1. Yeah. Probably by design. You need to reload now? <laughs> you couldn't have reloaded sooner, James? Perfect timing. By the way, just in case there's anybody here that missed us saying that last time, this game does not uh, continue directly off of Silent Hill 1. It's kind of its own story, but there are definitely some winks and nods for people who have played the first one. Yeah. Like we're using sound effects, or playing with your expectations after the first game. Like, oh, in the first game, this would always lead to this, but not in this game. How badly am I hurt? Eh, not too bad. What the hell? I've got 16 of these things. Okay. Nemo's Mexican, or no. This place is Gonzalez's Mexican restaurant. Okay. I still, he still won't react to it. Hmm. Is there a back door? Go down here, let's see. Uh uh, wait, what's this? No? 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 Hmm. No, none of this? Not it's even a stairway. Here. That looks. Yeah, there's another doorway here, too. No? The mark on the map keeps going up to these houses. Is it one of these houses? Huh? Huh? Wait, there's something. There's something. Uh, That's with the weird uh, camera angle again. I got a wrench. Okay. Another letter. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park. At the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box, to open it I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Excuse me? Wait, what? The director of the hospital is writing a note to us? To, like, by name? Uh. What? Why did he hide the stuff all the way over here? Perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. What abyss? Uh, his previous note, the one on the map, talked about, you know, uh, whether you were, uh, 
could stare into the abyss or not, that one. Oh, right, of course. Here. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So I guess that was also the director writing directly to us. Okay, that's normal. No, no, it's really not. Why? What? I mean, allegedly Why Mary was in the hospital. Not here. She died three years ago. In, mm. um... I don't think we've uh, actually heard where. But not here. This was like a vacation place, wasn't it? It's what we've been told, yeah. Laura claimed she got her letter last year, but that also doesn't add up. Right, yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. Uh, don't even need to step on that one. I mean, you got so much good practice in with Maria. Sorry. Uncalled for. <laughs> Too soon. that sound. Yeah, we don't have the screeching thing for a while. Mm-mm. I'm going in the right direction, right? Yeah. I need to get back to the park, and I'm going to want to go check out this door that only opens in darkness. Our company. Huh. Wait. Can I just walk on this side? Yes. Yes. Never mind. Huh. It's been a long time since we saw one of those um, harmless monsters. Whoa, I missed. I was thinking about it because uh, didn't we originally see them around here? I think so, yeah. For the first time. Those were pretty easy to dispatch, so. Yeah. Could have just been uh, newbie monsters. There's the thing. Yep. So, do you hear whispering very quietly in the background? No. Okay, cool. Just me. Six, one, three, five? Huh? that the flow of uh, free items is kind of dried up, too. Mm-hmm. It knows full well it just gave you two ampules and a shit ton of shotgun shells, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's catching up to us, isn't It's really it? loud, yep. Back 
into the apartment building now? Wait. What's that gonna be like? Nope, the mm -hmm. lock is broken. I can't open it. Definitely not the same side of the universe we were on before. There we go. The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Oh boy. Do we need more nightmares? <sighs> this whole thing is nightmares. Mm-hmm. Okay. Stop. I mean, I would, but, you know, we committed to doing this for the stream. <laughs> Still got half an hour left, we can't stop now. Okay. So let me see if I get this straight. The patient with the daughter at the hospital. Not... Not the patient, whoa, who, like, claims to... go to another world. Or was that the patient who claimed to go to another world? Oh, damn it, James! Have you ever heard of reloading when you run out? Oh. <laughs> okay. Shotgun's useful. Unclear, there's so many people authoring notes and not signing them in this world. Well, yeah, and like, all the notes we found from a patient were from the guy with the daughter. Mm -hmm. But then, like, or, well, had a daughter. Um... But then, like, I'm not clear if that was the same patient who, uh, uh, the doctor was, like, was causing the doctor to have a crisis of faith mm -hmm. about being a doctor. And I'm not clear if that doctor is the same as the, like, director who's now writing notes to James. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure all of them are different from the lady that wrote the, uh, suicide journal. Yeah. She didn't sound like she, uh... Made it off the top of the roof intact. I'm not clear any of these people are intact at this point, to be honest, but... No. Oh. That's great. Save point on the back of a random car. Oh yeah, we found this earlier. And it doesn't look like it, but we're at the motel. It's just so dark, it's hard to tell. I'm surprised it's still here. Yeah, me too. Me too. Exit. Exit. I actually kind of like how sometimes you just hear the sounds of monsters not even there. <laughs> of course! <laughs> you create American so, pastime. <laughs> exactly. Best thing to do when you've got nothing else in mind. Oh. Uh, no. No. Timing. There's something over here. Handgun bullets. I should probably switch the gun for a bit, or the handgun again for a bit, now that I've balanced out the numbers a little. So I gotta hold on to those 63 shotgun shells. Yep. In all seriousness, this is a lot more ammo than I remember having access to in this game. Mm-hmm. Maybe we might have spent a lot more time running from stuff in our original playthrough. Wow, we got a lot of bullets to take down. Yeah, we definitely did, but again, that's because I remember having a lot fewer healing items and uh, ammo before. <laughs> I don't think the uh, Enhanced Edition changed anything. It shouldn't have. If anything, their goal was to fix deviations from the original. I'm sure as hell we didn't play on hard, so... No. Eh, just faulty memories, I'm sure. Yeah, writing creepy uh, poetry on post-its in different locations. Uh... I'll try that next time I'm out. I think round one will appreciate it. It's like geocaching, but with, you know, <laughs> creepy poetry. <laughs> and maybe you don't leave clues to it. Geocaching from hell. I love it. Yeah. Oh no, another ampule. 
Is it gonna like straight up one hit KO you three times or something? Those are huge heals. Yeah, I'm not sure. Remember how to get to the statue of the praying woman. I know it's like around here somewhere according to the map, but Ah there, there it is. And now we have a weird camera angle. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. That sure is Doug. Will you dig? With my bare hands? Eh, not the weirdest thing James has done with his hands. Nope. Not by far. The little box is fastened by bolts. I can't open the lid. I I was expecting What's a severed it? head or something. Uh... There it is. Like, knife, battery that we still haven't needed. Oh, yeah. Huh. Can't believe it. I thought we needed the battery before now. I thought we did, too. I'm as confused as you are on that one. I'm sure we'll know when we need it. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to the Silent Hill Historical Society, because... The director of the hospital told us... Well, actually, he kind of told us not to, but... Hmm. He told us we'd find the truth there, or something like that. Okay. It's not like we have anywhere else to go. We're looking for Mary, because that's our only hope. Is the truth going to explain why we seem to have, like, five different variants of who's doing what in this town? Probably not. Maybe not? Huh? Oh good, more shotgun shells for my collection. <laughs> I've decided to roleplay James as a connoisseur of historic shotgun shells, you see. If only we had a second shotgun, maybe Maria could have defended her own damn self. That's a good question. Is there any way to, like, give, uh, given a reaction to be asked to open the fridge, I assume she wouldn't be interested, but... Yeah. Lady, the world's coming to a, you know, violent and twisted end. Could you please not worry about breaking a nail? The nurses out here are definitely more resistant to bullets than the nurses in the hospital were. Mm. Uh, is it just handgun bullets, or is it the shot one once too? Uh, Lakeview Hotel. Oh, it's a oh. map. Uh oh, I hear something coming. Uh, no. Multiple. Uh, I don't know. The shotgun shells still seem to do it in one as long as I'm close enough when I fire. And maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just firing from further away and my perspective is skewed because, you know, uh, we were in tight hospital corridors before. That could be. Also, hey, I didn't congratulate you properly. We're free of the hospital. Like, <sighs> you survived. This is a good point. We don't have to go back to the Silent Hill hospital. I mean, I realize we already did the worst part of that last week, but... Yeah. Like... Don't remind me. Skin's still crawling. Uh... I will say it was better than it was the first time, probably because I was expecting it, and I've played a lot more horror games than I had at the point when that really fucked me up last time. But yeah. it still was not anything approaching a good time. And we got through it faster, and you're in a better place with regards to a lot of the stuff that creeps you out about it. Yeah, for sure. And I still yeah. swear you somehow managed to either like fumble the light off or something last time, because that room was not that well lit. I. I agree. I remember the same thing. Honestly, what I was expecting was that, like, our flashlight was going to go out before yes. us, and then we would have to, I don't know, use the battery or something to turn it on after the battle. Exactly. 
apparently my memory is completely wrong about that. It's both of us, then. That's not just me, you know, trying to avoid spoilers this time. I'm just misremembering. Yep. Ditto. So see, even, it turns out that even if I were to accidentally spill the beans about the clown makeup from the beginning of the game being uh, significant... <clears throat> do I have to do the Silent Hill spoilers thing again? <laughs> Wow, there's sure are a lot of nurses at the Bolarama. Hmm. Who knew nurses love bowling so much? Maybe it's like a corporate outing or something. Maybe. James, James. you really didn't talk about your timing with reloading. <laughs> I kind of love that, like, casual kick. Uh-huh. It's so, like, just, you know, doesn't give a fuck, is just gonna kick it. Yeah, really. Sometimes he does, like, a stomp, but sometimes kick he just puppies does that, too. Like... We're kind of leaving the city here. Good. So, Luca, like, keep the nature. Uh, Keep the nature what? Are the weird horrors also part of the nature? I hope not. Again with this. There's like this car that I imagine it. Nope, I imagine it. There's an ad for the Texon station. Okay. See so yeah, that um Stomping animation is actually one of the another bug they fixed in the enhanced edition, apparently. Yeah, really. Yep. Apparently there was a bug in the PC version. James would only ever do one kind of kick stomp animation. Interesting. So they had to patch in a bug fix to make James do the other animations. The PC port has a lot of weird bugs if you don't play the enhanced edition. Admittedly, this is a ancient game at this point. Oh, yeah. It's never designed to work on anything even approaching this level of modern system. Quiet, Quiet cocktails? cocktails. <laughs> yep. What's a loud cocktail? Uh, something vividly green with a lot of, like something colored in it. Mm -mm. I mean, like something with, like, way too much Curacao so that it's intensely blue. There we go. I mean, absinthe's pretty hardcore. That's green. Yeah, but it's more of a pale green. Especially after you lose shit, it's not. Yeah. I'm allowed to talk about that, right? That is still legal in the U.S.? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It wasn't for a while, so... Just saying. Not that I'm at all a hard drinker at any point in my life, but... Would you like to go to the Baby and Kids Superstore? Discount prices, baby gift registry, parking in rear, bare entrance, or rear entrance, <laughs> sorry. Very okay, so, so please clip that. Very important <laughs> distinction. Very important distinction. 
Uh, if nobody gets it in the moment, I swear I will get it after the stream. That's not gonna get clipped. <laughs> Silent. Silent Hill fresh meats. Bear? That's a cow, but I don't know, maybe they got bear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> for the for your bears to get some kids. There's an ad for the Lakeview Hotel. It's weird that they'll only read signs for the Lakeview Hotel. Hmm. They won't read signs for anything else. Oh, we're at a bridge. Oh wow, she's like looking through it. That's a lot of bullets. Let's get the glitchy one out of here. Oh, not bad. This is one of the things about this game. The only way to reload is to stop and go in that menu, which is very much a... Wait, what's, who's the dead guy? I just realized. No, we didn't kill that one. No, there's a guy here. More rifle shells. There's a map here. Uh, Olorama. Oh. I think that might have been from earlier in the game. Remember when we stumbled onto the Bolorama before anyone oh. told us to go there? <laughs> Oops. Because it would have made sense at that point. Whoa, the bridge is very out. Yikes. I can't get to the hotel from here. That's understatement of the year, James. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, remember how we were trying to get to the hotel way back when, and, mm -hmm. and we got distracted on our way over to come to think of it about this point on the map? Yeah. The tracks, okay. I guess that was what was supposed to tell us to go back to the Bolorama, though why that guy knew we needed to go to the Bolorama is an interesting question. I mean, he didn't really put your name on it, per se, unlike who, you know, the hospital director. That's true. Could have just been a, like, if anybody finds this, good luck. I've marked the following location as safe, potentially. Maybe. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Thank you. I love it. Wandering inexpensive bunny what face? <laughs> yes, that is how I think about it. Of course. Uh, nurse. Oh, out of breath. They're definitely out of breath, because they're dead. Pet Center Vaccine Clinic. Okay. And restaurant. Every uh, Sunday. Uh, that's a hell of a combination. You're gonna just keep doing this until I turn around and shoot you, aren't you? Wait. Where is it? What? It sounds like on both sides of you to me. Okay, well, if someone wants to make themselves known, um, I would be happy to deal with you, otherwise... There's one. Oh, hey, look, is there an ad for Jack's Inn? Okay. Beauty rest, radio, TV, <laughs> hi fi, air conditioned, although the air conditioned has been painted over, so I guess it's not air conditioned anymore. Rip. See that one walking away from the spot where we left the corpse before. You can see the blood stain. Yeah. 
It's Bolarama. Okay. Nine rod from here. Nine rod? rod? Who the frick uses rod as a unit of measurement anymore? Food, I drink. I did not realize that was a legitimate measurement. Interesting. I think it is. That's the one for you to look up. Oh, damn, we passed the historical society again. Something about it being pitch black. No. Those heels are extremely loud. Uh huh. Wait, did we? Yeah, we did. Okay. The hell of being an old uh, nurse back in the day. Okay, I'm confused by something. Hang on. Uh -huh. The map says the struggle society is up there, but my memory is that we passed a building back here, didn't we? Your ad. <laughs> See, I can't misread that one. Nope. I could have been a your Wait. dad joke, I guess, but... I shouldn't make Same fun of people saying bar. things given what happened one of the last times we played Raft. Huh? Did you forget already? Uh, Vine God. Oh, the Vine God, right? <laughs> oh, it was a long weekend. Ow. Okay. Soul. Ow. James, not read with your diaphragm. Here we go. I got a first aid kit. Boat launch. Unsurprisingly, the boat launch is closed. Due to apocalypse. <laughs> and it was too foggy, now it's just too dark. Huh. Anyone in the phone book? Also, I'm surprised he never attempts to, like, call for help like every horror yeah. protagonist does at least once. He still does the I have to bang on every, you know, locked door kind of thing, but... Yep. Yeah. James's behavior is very strange sometimes. It is. Like but again, said, so is no everyone's one... here. Exactly. No one in this game is well-adjusted. Okay, we've unlocked the Historical Society. So that'll be good. Got about 10 minutes to play around in here before we should probably call it. Okay, let's hope we find a save point then. If we have uh, to, we can go a little late oh. as long as we... Oh, there we go. Save point. Never mind, we can explore with impunity. Okay. I After took the doors there's... off the hinges. Um... Yeah, wow. We don't usually see the doors off the hinges like this. Alright, I'm going to have a map of this place. Uh, do you guys sell maps of this building? I know that's a weird thing to ask, but... Who would you like to pay for the pleasure? Oh, what's with the weird amulet? Wait, isn't that the amulet from Silent Hill 1? It does kind of look like that now that you point that out. That's funny. <laughs> Just another Easter egg to fuck with people who played the first game. Oh. Uh, uh, 
this is fine. Uh, oh, dollars for map of this tiny building. What the fuck? Is that a cow? What is this? There's something on the wall here. I guess it doesn't let me look at it. There's nothing he's... useful written on them. Okay. There's nothing particularly special about this photograph. A photo is hanging here. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. No, I'm already out. I'm not going back in. This hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration in this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. Wait, was Brookhaven the name of the hospital we went to? Yes. Okay. I know Sunnyhill has another famous hospital, so... Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that was the one the and three. If I were the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital, it looks like he was a famous person in town. So that's our guy. That's okay. the guy that's been writing us the notes, I guess. Photo of a deep, deep hole. What? Could... What? Wait, really? It is just like a photo of a room with a weird hole in it. Stick your hand in it, James. You know you want to. Oh, yeah, James loves sticking things in holes, doesn't he? <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't know, but... Can we, before we follow the weird oceanic keening, can we just, like, look around this room for a sec? I didn't... Um, um, Wait. excuse me. Hey. He's got a spear instead of a big knife. The hell? And those people are in the, like, flesh lips hanging things. Yep, sure are. Misty Day. Remains of the Judgment. It's him. Okay. That's fine. Waterfront land site. So the, there used to be a painting here, but only the explanation remains. Waterfront landscape. Alan Smith. Date of birth and death unknown. A scene of this area from long ago. From the style, it looks like it was done sometime around 1820. There were a lot fewer people then, and only a handful of buildings. <laughs> There's a uh, TV celebrity around here named P. Allen Smith. He does gardening uh, shows on the local uh, PBS channel. Oh, yeah. I assume it's not related. Something particular interest in the case. So, wait, but what about this? What about this? What, I don't know. Why is look there at just it? a horrifying painting of the pyramid guy? Pyramid Head, as the fans call him, up here. Photo is hanging here. Wiltsy Coal Mine. Okay, there's really nothing to do but follow the worm. Oh boy. Okay. Let's hope we can get back to that save point. I'm sure it'll be fine. Because. I didn't read this far ahead in the uh, walkthrough, I just read enough to be able to put a description on the video for today, so. What's with the wall here? It's all like burnt and then smashed in, and the walls on the other side look different. <laughs> <laughs> yes, perfect. Is this a crypt? Okay. That was weird. Why did it happen to this? I don't know. It's all way endless. I'm starting to wonder. You run, but you shouldn't run downstairs. <laughs> I thought this was going slightly downhill. It's hard to tell, but... Oh yeah, this is definitely a stairwell. It was really obvious from the uh, point we entered it. Man, we are really deep. Wait, wait, it just flattened out. Okay. No, 
give me that. It's definitely getting faster. Wait, we're coming upon a door. Good boy. Oh, that Maybe sounds a, bad. Some kind of document is lying here. And yeah, really, I'm pretty sure we're well <laughs> below anything that they should have been digging. But then, a lot of things are below what they should be. Uh, that's one way of putting it. September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number C221. I can't read the rest. What is this? Okay... Prisoner. Wait, did they build the historical society on top of a prison? Uh. Why are people consistently this stupid? On top? Who would build an underground prison this deep down? Oh no, those are the walls from the picture of the room with the hole in it. Great. Oh, oh, something's no. coming. Come here, you. Oh, hey, look, they're almost yeah. guys again. Yep. Yeah, they're definitely a lot tougher than they used to be, too. Okay. I still don't have a map of this area. I love a map and a save point. When you find uh, the next save point, we can stop anytime. Okay. What is this? It's just like a grating. Okay. Weird. I don't have a map of this area. Thank you, I know. Okay. More weird paintings. What's the sound? No clue. Huh? Skewering. Uh, That's what talking about, Pyramid Head. Yeah, it does sound like it. Toluca Prison Camp. Built in Civil War, later became Toluca Prison. Prison. Shit. Okay. Apropos of nothing, handgun bullets. Great. The prisoner's last taste of freedom is his ability to choose whether he gets skewered or hung. Love it. Okay. Oh, he looks the oh, whole room. It's a hole. Hole's dark and I can't see anything. <laughs> Will you jump down? Thanks, James. Seriously, James, this is even worse than the whole will you stick your hand in the toilet or the hole in the wall or any of the other things that you've done. <sighs> what is that? We have Banging? to find out. Yes. I don't know, we're down to 14 health drinks, I don't know. This might be dangerous. Who knows, I might need them by the end of this. We should have played on hard, since we know the game. I guess so, I really, I really thought I'd forgotten most of it, but... Okay, fine, let's give in to James's <laughs> weird complaint jump down the hole from the photo. How much more down is there to go, my dude?
We have landed in a pile. Is this water? A pile about some water and a bunch of garbage or something. What? Mm -hmm. It's just a wall. What? It's just a wall. It would be impossible to climb this. Do you really want to? You're the dumbass that jumped down here. It's just a wall. Huh? This is different. What? Just this spot here feels different from the rest of the wall. I wonder if I could somehow break it. Like, smashing it with a pipe? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it didn't uh, work. Okay. First time they made us attack anything other than monsters. Uh oh. Things are coming. Come on. They're good. Now the blood just like spills out into the water. That's not creepy. Great. It's the obligatory sewer level. Great. Sewer maze level on top of it. Alright. This door. Huh? Oh no. Oh no. The door onto two more doors. I really need a map of this area. Oh, hey. Oh, I got the spiral writing key. The what? Uh. My flashlight's dead. Oh. Why do we. Oh no. Um, do I use the key to open the door? Key with a slim three inch long cylinder attached. The cylinder's engraved with spiral writing. Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory. Oh, hi, Rianja. I didn't know you were in this game. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh. Why is this the room that knocks your light out? Don't know. I guess I'll use the I'll use the battery. Oh, oh god! Shit. What? This room's suddenly covered in bugs. What oh. the fuck? Uh, Stomp a lot, James. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Can I just leave? Or do I have to fight these? It's, it's locked. locked. I made a burlap. Yeah. Huh? Why did that one stop moving suddenly? Oh, there's a code. Wait, there's a what? code's hat. Uh, okay. Uh, two, six? Ah. Wait, I think I hit the wrong there thing. God. Am I supposed to know what, key, what code to enter? I don't have a map this area. Um. Uh, what? This doubt that will lead a thief to what? Purgatory. Six six six. Um. It's obviously not, but. Wait, he's looking at something. What's he looking at? <laughs> Bugs, hopefully. Maybe this is just the bugs. Oh, I 
like to see him knocking bugs off the walls. Yeah. And then have to fight them. Okay. Is that what we're supposed to be doing, or is that just trying to uh, dissuade you from attacking the bugs? I'm not sure. That one didn't respawn, though. Hmm. I'm genuinely not sure. Um. The rainy ones aren't attacking me, is the thing. Right. Six, six, six. Okay. I don't know. It's like doing that glitched yeah. out thing, too. If it's only six and two, there's got to be it's only so many solutions, right? I mean, I guess. Yeah. something we're missing. Also possible. Two, six, two. Um, two, six, six. Oh, uh -huh. it's two, six, six, apparently. I wonder if there's a way we're supposed to know that, or what? Good question. This isn't normally a game that's good about, like, I mean, this is normally a game that's very good about not letting you softlock yourself like that, so... Yeah. What? This is also weird. There's a door at the bottom. The door is locked. Okay. What else was in here? Oh god. Now it can just play B sounds at us whenever it wants to. Oh, this is a dead end. Uh, does the key go to that locked grate then? Maybe. Way to find out. Okay. A lot of items. Yeah. I use the spiral writing key. Uh oh. Down another hole, James. It's back beyond the door. I can't tell how far the blackness stretches. <laughs> Will you go down? Okay, seriously, dude, you got problems. Why are we doing this? Oh, land on your ass for once. Oh. Hey. It's you. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. You... you killed him? But... but, but it wasn't my fault! He, he made me do it! Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy... he... he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie! You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie! 
What? What the I think hell? Eddie has been... Wait. I wouldn't say Eddie has been here too long, but how is Eddie in the other world? Great question. I mean, Maria was in the other world too, but... Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I guess everyone came here. Uh, we saw Laura here too. Shit. Also, Eddie is now definitely insane, probably a murderer. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it's the same point. Same point. Cool. What's this? I got the Tablet of Gluttonous Pig. Jesus. Such judgment. I was about to say. Narrator, unless you want to get shot by Eddie too, <laughs> I suggest you cut it out. Look, I know this is the same kind of shit that I cancelled 999 for, but I promise you there is a reason for it in this game. I got a health drink. Good night, Bob. We're about Thanks, to end Bob. ourselves. Yeah, enjoy the anime. Have fun. And speaking of which, here's our next save point, so we can finally do a fourth save since we've jumped down a lot of one-way holes. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. It's not exactly easy to just um retrace our steps. No. I'm not even sure which direction that would be at this point. Up. Unless you can fly. Here's a question, how did it, did Eddie jump down all those holes too? Uh I guess he must have. Okay. Um, wait, the one on this lock. I guess this maybe is... he had some other route. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Laura helped him. That's true. Laura seemed to like him. And Laura seems... Laura goes through a lot of locked doors, too. That's a good point. Or locks them behind her, maybe. Like she locked us in with flesh lips. <sighs> nope, nope, that didn't happen. I saw nothing. Wow, oh. what a journey. Hospital 3F patient's room, hospital alternate staircase, historical society building, prison cafeteria. Yeah! This this is going some places suddenly. Honestly, those are probably some of the more uh, reasonable locations in this game. Yeah, really. Oh, boy. All right, I guess next time we find out what in the ever-loving hell is going on with Eddie in the prison. Yeah, we get to go see more prison stuff, probably. Man, I don't know. I thought I was going to a museum. Then there was a foghorn, and I was, like, climbing into a crypt. Then we jumped down some fucking holes. I was in a <laughs> prison, then a sewer, and I'm in a prison again. Who knows? Maybe next stream it'll turn out we're going to a circus. Surprise. Maybe it'll finally be the hotel. That that will never happen. <laughs> the, the hotel's a red herring. That tells him it's that's changed it. my mind. The sewer was really just going under the lake. That's how we're going to get to the hotel. Of course. Seems legit. Yep. Well, do you have anything else you want to do before I change this to some less horrifying music? No, let's get away from this droning whatever this is. Please. Sounds good. Thank you, Akira Yamaoka. You are, as always, a real pant load when it comes to producing horrifying sound effects. <laughs> I'm stealing this. Yeah. Cool. I will try not to steal it back. Really? Really? I promise, I promise I'm not trying not to. <laughs> I don't trust this you. Time. Okay. <laughs> it did not actually eat out of my control for once, so thank you. You're, you're welcome. It's nice to actually have my computer behave a little bit for once. Oh. Well, Wait. folks, I hope you enjoyed... Huh? Maybe it's just me that can still hear the droning behind my music. I'll assume it's not doing that on stream, too. Uh, probably not. I don't, I don't think so. Hopefully. That's certainly an effect. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It's just us that have to suffer. 
Great. Love it. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for playing along. This is, as always, a um, bizarre and creepy kind of joy. Mm-hmm. This may all look like um, insane amounts of violence and, like, uncomfortable shit, but I assure you it's going somewhere. And when it gets there, this game will have a lot to say about a lot of things. I mean, don't be wrong, it's still insane amounts of violence and creepy shit oh, yeah. and, like, unsettling stuff. It's not gonna not be that. It's not gonna suddenly... Yeah. This is still a lot of really uncomfortable... As you said, there's a lot of violence against women in this game. Very much. There's something really uh, uh, bothering me about just wandering around shotgunning these ladies in high heels and stripperific nurse outfits and then stomping on them. For a lot of games, Ugh. I feel like they wouldn't expect you to be uncomfortable with that, but this game does. It's doing it for exactly that purpose. Exactly. Exactly. Sometimes the story you need to tell requires you to make people uncomfortable. This is definitely one of those games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Nier Automata is one of those games, too. Very much. Says the person who oh. is literally sobbing within an hour of that, so thanks, Yoko Taro. <clears throat> yeah. Was not expecting that, but the gloves were off almost immediately. Yeah. Well, that's a story for another time. Absolutely. We're late enough as oh. is. For now, thank you all for joining us. Thanks for sticking with us. I hope you enjoyed being creeped the fuck out and seeing a lot of really unsettling stuff and wandering in the dark. Yep. We will see you tomorrow for Phasmophobia on our new schedule. Yes, that's right. Phasmo is Wednesday this week and probably, as far as we know, going forward eternally. Well, maybe not eternally. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to die eventually, but... Oh! Oh! That reminds me, you haven't seen the patch notes for the new Phasma patch that dropped today. Oh, I have not. There's an important note in there. Huh? There's a very important note in there. Fixed to the ghost walking through big tents. Oh, sweet. So it turns out there was a bug. Ah, I knew it. We were right all along. Well, with that out of the way, I can sleep uh, solidly tonight. Uh, I hope I can sleep solidly after all this. <laughs> we'll take it chill tonight, as always after these streams. Mm -hmm. For tonight, good night, good luck, and have fun with something that's not horrifying. Yeah, take care of yourselves, everybody. Good night. So say it, the horrifying paralysis demon. <laughs> I mean, if you can't say it, then who?